then so what we speak can either lift us up or it can bring us down you know what i'm saying so whenever i talk to someone i always tell them positive things because i want i realize that that's a spiritual principle for living down here on earth you know what i'm saying what we speak to ourselves what we speak to others is a, is a reflection of not only ourselves but the spirit that is in ourselves and the spirit that we will project onto others so i want to whenever i speak to someone i want to project nothing but the spirit of uplifting you know i want to uh, them to feel empowered and uplifted whenever i speak to someone you know especially if they don't feel too good if they're feeling down or depressed or whatnot you know Sunday afternoon. It makes me want to go ride. I don't know if I get a chance to go. It's a busy day today. What up, you guys? It's your boy Ray Ray, aka Real Ray, aka King Ultimate, here. And uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about something really quickly. So it's about 8 30 right now. AM, I'm at my parents' house, you know, I spent the night, I uh, didn't sleep, of course, you know, I, I uh, work at nights, so I was up all night, and uh, I'm supposed to be going to sleep right now, but I'm not going to sleep because of the fact that I want to go ahead and make this video, hadn't had the chance to make the video because I've been busy since I've been out here, so I've been out here for the past two days, you know, I'm making this video now, I wanted to talk to you guys about something, you know, all my life, I've been asked a question. <laughs> I've been asked this question all of my life, man. In the beginning, when I first, when people first uh, started, you know, asking me this question, I would kind of get mad at them. You know, I would, I would wonder why they, you know, why they were asking me this question. And then after a while, after a while, you know, as I got older, and more and more people started uh, asking me these questions, the same question over and over again. And it's not just the same people, the same, same person, you know, multiple people would ask me this question. Came to the realization, I talked to my dad about it, and he explained it to me. And so that's how I realized why these people were asking me this question. And I realized there was nothing wrong with me, but it was more so that the person felt uncomfortable uh, being around me because I didn't talk that much. <laughs> So they would ask me, uh, why don't you talk? Why don't you talk that much? Or why don't you, you know, why are you so quiet? You know, I wouldn't know what to say to them, you know, when they asked me that question. But little did they know that I talk so much, man. <laughs> I talk a lot, man. If they only knew how much I already do talk, man. Just to give you an example, when there's something that I'm really intrigued by or a conversation I really want to have with the person, usually what ends up happening, 90% uh, of the time, the person ends up falling asleep. So I don't know if it's because I'm boring or what it is, but maybe it is because I'm boring. I don't know. <laughs> I do talk a whole lot, man. So to all those people who, who tell me or ask me the question of uh, why don't I talk, that much or why am I so quiet to you I would have to say that just bring up the right subject man just talk about the right subject matter and you know I will talk your head off I will talk to you until you can't talk anymore you know what I'm saying and I will keep continue to talk so it's just a matter of having the right thing and the proof the proof of it is when I'm you know with me making these videos I, I try to condense them down as much as possible my talk with me videos they usually end up being an hour long so I'm out, I'm editing an hour longer footage all the way down to 20 minutes, you know? And that's just because I do talk a lot about the things that I want to talk about. You know, if you're talking about something that's not necessarily that interesting to me, then more than likely I'm just not gonna really talk too much or, you know, sometimes I'm, it's not the right situation or, or place or time too, I feel. You know, I feel like I'm not in the right situation, place or time to talk, you know, about the particular subject or whatnot. With me having anxiety, I have to have things in a proper order, in a proper place, in order for me to, to act most of the time. With that being said, that's exactly what I want to talk to you guys about. 
what I do want to talk to you guys about today is what I've learned from making these videos. And so what I've learned from making these videos is that uh, I've learned some things about myself. You know, uh, I've learned that I actually like uh, the content that I put out so far and I like myself, the, the self that I presented so far. You know, they say hindsight is 2020. Uh, I felt that I, I would look back up upon some of the videos that I made and be either ashamed or, or feel funny, indignant, or a certain way about how I look or how I presented myself in the, the previous video. But after going back and, and looking at the videos, I, I, I come to realize that I, I liked the self that I presented, you know what I'm saying? And it was the real true me, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's uh, part of what I'm, what the purpose of this channel is, is for me to, to grow physically, uh, mentally, spiritually, and financially, and in all those aspects reveal the real true me, you know what I'm saying? But continuing to talk about what I've learned from making these videos is that there are some people who are being forced to form an opinion about Ray now. Before it was kind of like, you know, he's the quiet guy, you know, he keeps to himself, he's the shy guy, whatnot. So I really don't have too much of an opinion about him because he doesn't really talk too much. He doesn't really let me know what he thinks about things. He's just the kind of the go with the flow guy. And he, uh, you know, he always says yes. He never says no. He's just the easygoing guy and uh, whatever I want from him, I can get from him, you know? <laughs> Little did they know that's not really me. And uh, there's reasons why I act the way that I act, you know? And I think things through. So if you're smart enough, you can understand what I'm saying right now without me really saying what I'm saying, if that makes any sense. <laughs> but yeah, man, so with me revealing portions of myself on these, in these videos, it's, now it's starting to force people to, to form a, an opinion about me because I'm not just being quiet. I'm letting you know how, how I think, how I feel, my desires, the things that I want to do uh, in my life. You know, <laughs> I'm about to get uh, a very nice car, a very expensive car, and nobody can change my mind, you know. And so there's, you know, I want the luxuries and I want the nice things in life. You know, nobody really necessarily knew that about me, so they couldn't form, form an opinion about what I want to want in life, you know what I'm saying? As far as they knew, I, I just didn't, just wanted to be, you know, living live in a one bedroom apartment and drive a Honda Civic for the rest of my life, as far as they know. They couldn't, you know, there, nobody forms a negative opinion about somebody like that versus somebody who wants to have every luxury in life, you know. As soon as somebody starts to reveal, that's one thing that I found out, is as soon as somebody starts to reveal that they want to have the luxuries of life down here on Earth, then some heavy opinions start to form, man. <laughs> and I, I never realized how jealous some people can be. I don't even have these things right now. I'm just saying that I want them, that I can tell, I, I can see the envy in the things that they will have to say, you know. I'm a human being. I have been jealous and envious before. You know, I am, I am human and I understand that people are human, but I just never would have thought, you know. And so basically what I'm trying to say is that people are, you know, there's some people who have positive opinions and, and positive, positive feelings, feelings about uh, what I've put out in these videos and they like it. They like that I'm revealing my true self. And then there's others who have either negative opinions or if it's not necessarily negative, it's definitely, definitely not positive, you know? You know, there is a gray area. I'm, I'm the type of person who does believe in a gray area. <laughs> uh, you know, that's something that could be up for debate. But I'm one of those people who, who do believe in a gray area, you know what I'm saying? I've had conversation with multiple people. They've told me their opinions and whatnot and revealed how they feel in one way or another. And I'm just surprised, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, I was surprised and I learned and I found out that, yeah, the more that you reveal about yourself, you know, the more people have the chance of forming a, a not so pleasing opinion about you, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I, I put myself out there. I knew that at some point that this was happening, but I didn't, I didn't know what happened from people that I knew. I thought it would just be from, you know, somebody who was just randomly watching me on YouTube, you know. <clears throat> but it is what it is, and we're all human beings. 
and it's definitely not going to deter, deter me at all. I'm going to keep pushing and keep doing what I'm doing and I'm going to keep growing and I want you guys to grow with me, you know, whoever's watching this, you know, nobody's perfect. We all have room for improvement and uh, I'm trying to grow physically, mentally, spiritually and financially. And I'm, I want you guys to grow with me, you know what I'm saying? So come along with me on this journey. Go and dive in it a little bit further because I'm, I'm the type of person who, who likes to go, get really deep into things, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm the type of person who thinks deeply about things and sometimes it, it can be it can be a gift and a curse, you know? Sometimes I can overthink some things, but then the other times, the only way I was able to figure something out was because I was a deep thinker, you know what I'm saying? So it has been to my advantage as well, you know? And so, diving a little bit deeper into what I found out is that with me having those conversations and thinking about it and having the realizations, I, I, I you know, there's some things that people said that I didn't like and, uh, you know, during the conversations that we had with them talking about me and their opinions being formed and they said certain things about me that I didn't like, you know, it made me mad, it pissed me off. I had to think about it and because these are people that I know and uh, people that I know, you know, I respect their opinion, you know, or I want to. To respect their opinion yeah, because they think that they know me some people think that they know me but they don't know me as well as they think they do you know you know I, I took the time to think about what they had to say evaluate myself and see that if what they're saying is true or not and 90 percent of the time you know even before this whole thing me putting out these videos 90 percent of the time what people had to say or their opinions about me was not true you know and it's and it remains the same but then there's that 10 percent that what they're saying, what their opinion is about me or what they're saying about me that I don't necessarily like, it is true, you know what I'm saying? And I will acknowledge that it is true after evaluating myself, just like I said. All right, you guys, so my allergies are messing up, messing with me a little bit right now. But uh, I recorded, I tried to record this video yesterday, but I, I was interrupted by some things that were going on yesterday. I didn't get the chance to finish it. So I started it over today and I got to a certain portion, but then I realized that uh, this part of the video that I recorded yesterday, I explained myself a lot better. I liked the way that I explained it and I said exactly what I wanted to say without leaving anything out. So I'm gonna play that portion of the video and then come back to right now and continue the rest of what I wanna say. All right, check it out. One thing that I've learned is that there's some people who are not, who who are watching these videos, but they don't want to say, they don't want to let me know or anybody else know that they're watching these videos. <clears throat> so I'm not, uh, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate whoever's watching the videos, you know what I'm saying? But I'm finding out also that some people have some negative thoughts or opinions about me making the videos that I'm making, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, some positive things. It's also some, some negative things, you know what I'm saying? People have negative opinions about me putting myself out there on the internet or whatnot. So, you know, a couple of days, uh, a few days ago, I, I posted something on Facebook and I basically was saying that don't allow somebody to tell you who you are or, or what you're feeling. And I said that because a person can say that a person, you should be the one who's in control of understanding who you are as a person. You know what I'm saying? No one should be able to place something on you. Like, no one should be able to place anger on you. No one should be able to place depression on you. Nobody should be able to place uh, anxiety on you, fear on you. Nobody should be able to come to you and tell you something that you're not really feeling because of the fact that that spirit can latch on to you. You know, just like I said, I asked you guys to grow with me uh, physically, mentally, spiritually, and financially. And that, that spirit, talking about some things that are spiritual, you know what I'm saying, without going into too much detail about what I believe, but I believe that life and death is in the power of the tongue. You know what I'm saying? So what we speak can either to lift us up or it can bring us down you know what i'm saying so whenever i talk to someone i always tell them positive things because i want to, i realize that that's a spiritual principle for 
living down here on earth. You know what I'm saying? What we speak to ourselves, what we speak to others is a, is a reflection of not only ourselves, but the spirit that is in ourselves and the spirit that we will project onto others. So I want to, whenever I speak to someone, I want to project nothing but the spirit of uplifting. You know, I want to, uh, them to feel empowered and uplifted whenever I speak to someone, you know, especially if they don't feel too good, if they're feeling down or depressed or whatnot, you know. And I don't want to tell them what they're feeling. I want them to determine what they're feeling for themselves, you know. <clears throat> and so nobody can press, nobody can place that on you but yourself. I posted not too long ago that I was angry about something. <clears throat> I won't allow somebody else to tell me that I'm angry, you know what I'm saying? If I'm feeling angry, I will express that. If I'm feeling depressed, I will express that. I know that in some videos before, I talked about being depressed. But right now in my life, I'm actually pretty, pretty good, you know. There's some, there's some things I'm not happy about, and there's some things that I'm actually angry about. <clears throat> Just like I said, you know, I posted, posted that I was angry about some things. But I'm definitely not nowhere near depressed at all. You know what I'm saying? Um, if I can say this, that uh, you know, I'm saying this right now, I'm letting you guys into me <clears throat> as a person, <laughs> and let you guys know that I, I've been in a very low state, man, uh, before my life. I've been low to the point to where it's, uh, you know, I didn't necessarily want to be alive. You know what I'm saying? I've had those, that, that feeling before, you know what I'm saying? I, I felt like I was worthless at points in my life, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and anybody who's ever been there, understand what I'm saying, you know? Anybody who's ever been in that place before understands that it's, it's tough, it's a difficult place, and you've, you've, if you made it through, if you made it out of that place, then you understand that it takes you and the help of God and it takes you uh, bringing yourself out of that state. Nobody else can bring you out of that state but you. And when you come out of that state, you realize that <clears throat> you are in control uh, of your emotions and you can't allow, and from that realization, I've come to understand that I can't allow somebody else to control my emotions. You know, I'm, of course, I'm not perfect. <laughs> I am a human being, and certain things that people say and certain things that people do uh, muster up something within me, you know? But at the same time, I come to my senses and I, and I, real, and I think about what they're saying, and I come to realize that I come to terms with what if what they're saying is true or not. You know, I, I, I look at myself, I evaluate myself, and I say, hey, this person says that they care about me. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a look at myself and see if what they're saying is true. Uh, sometimes they are true. Like I just got done having a conversation with my boy. So he told me a couple of things, some positive things about myself, but then he also told me some things that you know, the average person might not necessarily look at it in a, a negative light or in a positive light, you know. Some, some people might think of it as a negative, you know. I'm sorry, my lips are chapped and <laughs> don't necessarily have the best lighting or whatnot. Of course, my hair is not cut, but. So, continuing on, guys. So, here I'm back back to this, this part of the video. <laughs> so, continuing on. Um, Man, my allergies are really messing with me right now. Continuing on, I uh, I have talked to someone who uh, didn't necessarily have the greatest opinion, <laughs> or, or uh, he didn't have an opinion that I liked uh, about me. But at the same time, I had to evaluate myself. You know, so this is an example of a, a situation where I evaluated myself and I realized that what this person is saying is true you know and what this person said was that they thought that i was avoided certain situations and it's true i do avoid certain situations you know and uh, of course of course if you know the symptoms of anxiety then you understand the reason why 
I do avoid certain situations, you know. With me avoiding those situations, uh, it's, it's held me back. It's definitely held me back in life, you know. And I, I didn't like to hear that from him, but at the same time, you know, this is a person who does know me well and he has, he was correct in that particular aspect. You know, of course, there's other aspects that he said uh, where he was not necessarily correct. <laughs> but in that particular aspect, he was definitely right. I evaluated myself and know, knew that uh, there needs to be a change, you know what I'm saying? And, and, I'm, and I'm, these videos is part, is a part of me taking steps to, uh, to make that change, you know what I'm saying? With that being said, man, I just want us to, to grow, man. I want us to learn from our mistakes. I want us all to prosper, you know what I'm saying? I have no ill feelings towards anyone, you know, as far as, and I have no jealousy towards anyone for the things that they want to accomplish in life, you know what I'm saying? I have no jealousy towards the people that I know who are trying to accomplish their goals and I, I want nothing but the best for everybody. If your goals are higher than my goals, I wish nothing but, but the best for you. I want you to achieve your goals, you know, and I want you to achieve, to achieve your dreams, man. There's some people who have dreams and they just think that they can't make it, they can't get to it, you know. Or they think that uh, maybe I shouldn't have that, maybe I, sh maybe I just am supposed to live a mediocre life or uh, maybe I'm just supposed to stay on the level that I'm at right now, you know? But I'm here to tell you, and I'm here to inspire you to go after it. I'm going after it, and I believe in myself. There's many ways to get it. I'm gonna find those ways, man, with uh, the help of God, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna find the best route that's, that, will, the work, that will work for me to get to the place that I'm trying to get to. That's what it's really all about. It's really all about you having your eyes on your prize, not on anyone else's prize. There was a, a picture of Michael Phelps in the last Olympics. And Michael Phelps was swimming, swimming his heart out, man, trying to win his gold medal, man. And then there was somebody, somebody else in that picture, you know, one of the other uh, Olympians was swimming, trying to beat Michael Phelps. And he was looking over at Michael Phelps to see where he was at. Oh, is he a little bit further than me? Oh man, I gotta try to beat Michael Phelps. <laughs> but I don't want nobody trying to beat me, man. I want you to try to beat yourself and I don't wanna try to beat anybody. I want them to try to beat themselves, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm in competition with myself, man, and I have and it's not really competition with myself. I'm really just trying to reach the goals that I have. Those goals are not based off of you. Those goals are not based off of him or her or what they desire, but those goals are based off of what specifically me, what I desire in my life. I'm going after those goals. I'm not trying to beat, any, beat anyone. <clears throat> I'm just trying to reach for what I know that I can attain, what I, what I believe is possible. And so I, I speak life into myself. I speak life into my well-being. I speak life into my dreams. And I, I speak life into you. I speak life into your well-being. I speak life into well, the well-being of your family. I speak life into your dreams. And if uh, you feel like you don't have a dream or you feel like you don't have a goal, I want to encourage you to find out what that is. Evaluate yourself. You really evaluate the, your life and the direction that it's going in and, and find out what you want for yourself. You know what I'm saying? I want to encourage you to do that. Uh, to find out what you want out of this life, man. And if you really, you know, I don't think it would be that hard. I think it would be easy. If any, nothing this necessarily comes to your mind off, off the bat, I don't think it would be that hard for you to start start to determine what you really want for yourself, you know? <clears throat> Just take some time to think about it. And, uh, you know, based on what you've been through in your life, what has inspired you or what has uh, gone wrong in your life that made you feel like, I can do better, or I want better for myself, you know what I'm saying? So I just want to encourage, encourage us all, encourage myself. I, I even need you guys' encouragement as well. You know, I, I would greatly appreciate your encouragement as well. You know what I'm saying? 
I was I was ter- told I've been told that I respond to love. You know what I'm saying? And so, <clears throat> if you want any response from me, then show me love, show me encouragement. <clears throat> Let me know that you believe in me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, ah, shoot. Let me know that you believe in me. Um, uplift me you know and uh, you can you will be guaranteed to get it back from me you will be guaranteed to get it back from me and possibly even more and so uh, i need you guys encouragement Uh, i want to encourage you guys that you all can reach your goals and let's get it man let's let's accomplish our goals let's accomplish our dreams let's go after greatness let's get it man i know we can do it i know i can do it i believe in myself and I believe in you. So let's not stay uh, in a regressed position or let's, let's not stay in the same position. But we want to progress daily. Day by day, we want to progress. <clears throat> Getting closer and closer to our goals, whatever it may be. And, and our goals will be will have to do with our physical self, our mental self, our spiritual self, and our financial, financial needs, you know. We will meet our goals. We will grow day by day. We will consciously make calculated decisions to reach our goals day by day. And I know that we can do it, man. So let's get it. (laughs) Let's get it, man. Make sure you like this video. Make sure that you share the video. Uh, I want to be an inspiration to you, man. And I hope hope that uh, this video has inspired you. Like the video, share the video. Um, Know that you can do it no matter what anybody else is doing. Know that you can do it as well. And you can even be greater. But not with them in in mind, but know that you can do it as well. Uh, Also, leave a comment on this video, man. If you you know what your dreams are, leave a comment letting me know that you believe that you can achieve it. And And I need your encouragement as well. Please leave a comment with encouraging me to reach my goals and my dreams. Please subscribe as well. Uh, I appreciate everyone who has subscribed to the channel. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. You don't know how, how much I do. And I, I appreciate everyone who likes and shares the videos. You just don't know how much it means to me and how, how much uh, it helps me. Because uh, one way that it helps me is, is, is that it lets me know that what I'm saying is helping somebody some way, somehow, you know? So that's a part of the goal is to help myself and help somebody along the way. And when you feel like giving up, remember, we only have one life here on earth. So let's make the best of it. Let's accomplish every goal that we can possibly accomplish. Let's accomplish every dream that we can possibly accomplish. We can do it, man. I believe in myself and I believe in you. You can do it. Let's get it, man. Can't wait to talk to you guys in the next video. All right. Peace. Hey, bro, watch your jet. Watch your jet, bro. Watch your jet!